everyone. I am Prajal Agarwal and today we are going to discuss this problem chef and array. This problem is written as easy on code chef and you need the knowledge of sorting in your favorite programming language to solve this. So guys if you haven't read the problem yet go back and read it, try it out and come back and see the solution. With this let's begin. In this problem we are given an array A of size n. So we are given A1, A2 till A of n and we are given an integer k. The output is that we need to calculate the largest value in this array A. So this is given by largest of A. Secondly, we need to calculate the kth largest value of A. In the constraints, we are given that n k n A of i ranges from 1 to 1000. Now let us look at some test cases. So in the first test case, we are given A as 11, 22, 9, 44 and 1. So the largest element in this array is 44. So we print 44. Now we are given as K is equals to 4. So the first largest element is 44. The second largest element is 22. The third largest element is 11. And the fourth largest element is 9. We want to calculate the fourth largest element which is equals to 9. So we print it. Moving on to the solution. So in this problem we are given an array A of size n and an integer k. We need to find the largest element of A and the kth largest element of A. So the solution to this problem is pretty obvious. We will just sort this array. So we will sort A in non-increasing order. And now let's say that we get a sequence b1 greater than or equal to b2 greater than or equal to b3 up till b of n. Now the largest element will be the first element which is b of 1 and the kth largest element will be the kth element from the beginning which is b of k. So now the time complexity for this solution is the time taken to sort the array a. So, the standard sorting techniques take order of n log n time. And the space complexity is order of n. Because we only need to store this array A. Moving on to the code. So first I have processed the input and then we will use this function sort to, pro to sort the array in non-increasing order. To do this we will pass the starting pointer, the ending pointer and then we will call this constructor greater n. This sorts the array in non-increasing order. Finally, we will print the first element error 0 and the kth element error k-1. Note that we are using zero base indexing here. So guys, this is pretty much the whole code. Try to code it yourself and if you face an issue, then come back and see it again. So guys, I hope you understood the problem clearly. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from CodeChef. Thank you and goodbye.